All right, this is Brandon Smith with Whitmix, uh, post-processing uh, models off of the Max printer. The post-processing uh, is the same for the Max as well as the Pro 275. So I'm using an X-Acto knife uh, chisel blade and a gold tipped hammer to remove these models. Um, you just want to kind of tap at them until they slide down. And it's a number 17 X-Acto? Yes. And then what we'll do is we'll put the models in a dirty bath first. Um, for five minutes in the ultrasonic and then we'll put them in a clean bath for an additional five minutes in the ultrasonic. Um, once they come out of here, they'll go into a light cure box and they'll go in there for an additional five minutes. Um, and then that, that finishes out the post-processing. Um, just make sure that before you put them in the light cure box that you have uh, completely dried the models, no resin or alcohol residue left on them. Um, that way when they come out they're not tacky. Um, to clean your build head just use a regular paper towel and some of the alcohol that you use for post-processing, which um, it's just regular IPA alcohol. You can get it at any drugstore. Squirt a little on your build head and just wipe it down. make sure that when you do this you always wear gloves um, this resin can be toxic before it's cured um, so you don't want to expose your skin to it and just once you've cleaned your build head it goes back in and you're ready for your next print job and total post processing 15 to 20 minutes yeah about 15 20 minutes excellent thanks Brandon you're welcome